And man, I'm not gonna lie, this was a bit of an unexpected trade, but breaking news reported by Adam Shefford a couple minutes ago, a northern quarterback trade. Commanders are sending last year's starter quarterback Sam Howell to the Seahawks in a pick swap per sources. Here are the full details of the trade. And first of all, this is a good trade for the commanders. All right, this is a very good trade. Obviously, Sam Howell, he 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 had some good moments. He had some really good moments last year, especially the first half of the year from like week one to week ten, especially against the Seahawks. He balled out against the Seahawks. He had over three hundred yards and three touchdowns, including that touchdown pass to De'Ami Brown. I thought that was going to be the pass to win us the game or send it to overtime, but obviously our defense allowed the Seahawks to march downfield and kick a game-winning field goal, so that's unfortunate. But now he's getting traded to the team. He absolutely decimated last year despite the loss. He he played very, very well against the Seahawks last year. I mean, yeah, last year. So I like this trade for Sam Howell. I really do. I like this trade for the Commanders. This is really good for Sam Howell. He's going to be put in a situation where he doesn't have to start. He can sit behind you know he can sit on the bench behind Geno Smith with the clipboard in his hand learn from Geno Smith Geno Smith is going to provide him a lot of tips um so this I, I really like this for Sam Howell I think he could become a good quarterback if he's just put in the right situation and I feel like this situation would be good for him because I mean last year although Sam Howell you know he hurt himself those interceptions were so stupid like against the Giants um even earlier in the year against the Bills as well as the Jets so he had some really stupid plays of his own but you know Ron Rivera he didn't help him at all I mean our offensive line was absolutely putrid um putrid last year and Eric Bien, I mean, his play calls were horrible absolutely awful last year so not all the blame goes on Howell but he did do some things to hurt himself so these are the full details of the trade <clears throat> the Seahawks are obviously re um receiving Sam Howell as well as our fourth round pick which is 102 overall and a sixth round pick, 179. And then we're receiving a third round pick, 78 overall, and a fifth rounder, 152 overall. This is an excellent trade. I honestly didn't think we'd receive more than like a fourth or a fifth for Sam Abel, but no. I mean, a few days ago, Mac Jones got traded for what, a fifth? So I was like, you know, maybe after that we could get a fourth, maybe a third for Sam Abel, but probably a fourth. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, I think a week or two ago, reports came out about the Jets being interested in trading in Sam Howell, they'd be willing to give up even a fourth as well as some other teams. So I'm pretty shocked we got a third. I mean, it is a pick swap, but this is a very good pick swap. I mean, we moved from 102 overall to number 78 overall and 179 overall to number 152 overall. So, and, you know, no hate to Howell, but he threw 21 interceptions last year. He had 24 turnovers in the total, led the entire NFL in turnovers among quarterbacks. So I did not think, you know, he, we get a third for him, but... Hey, man, Adam Peters, never doubt him, let him cook. I see why it was a little bit of a dry day today because I was surprised we haven't signed anyone. We probably will later, we'll see, but he was he was cooking up with this trade, and I really, really love this trade. Obviously, wishing Howell the best of luck because, you know, he, he had really good moments for us last year. I'll definitely miss him a bit, but, you know, this is overall a good trade. The Seahawks, you know, they're getting a pretty solid quarterback that can sit behind Geno Smith and a pretty solid backup that if Geno Smith – does get injured and I think he will get injured a couple times this year maybe and you know he'll have to be held out Sam Howell he's going to come in there be a solid starter for them maybe win them a game or two so I really like this trade for both teams now after this trade here are our draft picks Num first first round first of all first round second overall pick two second round picks 36 40 three third round picks 67 78 and 99 67 for I mean 78 for Sam Howell 99 is for Chase Young, 139, which is in the fifth round, 152, which is also in the fifth round, and then 222, which is in the seventh round. So we still have nine picks, but like I said, we moved up from 102 to 78 and from 179 to 152. So overall, man, really good trade. And now we've stockpiled. I mean, we have three third-round picks. We're not going to keep all those third-round picks. I can guarantee you that. We'll either probably move up back into the first round, maybe draft a tackle, um, or a cornerback, or a wide receiver, we'll see about that, or, you know, we might trade for a cornerback, I mean, I heard Josh Taylor, shout out to him, check out his YouTube, he's a phenomenal Washington Commanders YouTuber, but he heard some reports about, you know, the Commanders maybe being, they've been doing some uh, quiet work on the cornerback market, those who are available in free agency, and the trade, and Greg Newsom, he's a name out there that Browns could trade him next year, he has a pretty large cap hit next year, so they could look to trade him, and the Commanders, we could possibly trade like a third, maybe a fourth for him, but probably a third for him. So use one of those third-round picks for Greg Newsom. I would not mind that at all. Or 
luxurious need. Reports have it that it may take like a second or third round pick to trade for him. And, and I'm all in for luxurious need. Trade a second or third for him. Extend him. I am all in for luxurious need because he is an excellent cornerback. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised if we were to trade for him at all. Or another option, we may use this, you know, our extra picks now as a way to trade up to the number one overall pick. You know, the Bears haven't traded Justin Fields yet. They're probably, they will probably trade Justin Fields, but I just don't know who would take him at this point. I mean, the Vikings signed Sam Darnold, the Raiders signed Garner Minshew, the Seahawks traded for Sam Howell. So it's looking in the, um, you know, Falcons signed Kirk Cousins. So it's looking bad for Justin Fields and the Bears right now to find him a new team. So we'll see about that. So the Bears could trade back. I still think they're going to stay at one and take Caleb Williams. So it's what it is. We're most likely going to take a quarterback at two, though. So, you know, I like this trade for the Commanders. It does suck, you know, losing Sam Howell because, like I said, he had great moments for us last year. But it is what it is. We got good compensation for it. And I'm I'm excited, man. Adam Peters, he is absolutely cooking. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm on with the 3K subs if you could. Hit that sub button. I really appreciate it. And other than that, it's been King Sean, and I'm out. Peace.